Hi, I'm Tom Gray with Call Makers News. This video tutorial is going to be about how to flame polish an acrylic duck call barrel. First thing I want to do is to take a look at some of our equipment that we're using for this demonstration. We have the Jet Mini Lathe, uh, just your standard, I think it's the uh, 1420 variable speed. Uh, it has the uh, four jaw adjustable chuck. As you can see, I have the uh, duck call barrel already set in the chuck. Just a second about the barrel. First thing I did was after I took the raw acrylic, turned it to the shape that I wanted, at that point I progressed to wet sand the barrel down to about 10,000 micromesh. Uh, it's often been said that 600 grit is, is about as much as you need to do as far as the sanding is concerned. I have a tendency to go overboard with a lot of things and therefore I <clears throat> do on my duck call barrels as well. Uh, you'll notice the steady rest. The steady rest is positioned right underneath it and the reason I do that is it because when it comes time to insert the torch in and out of the barrel to do the flame polishing it gives me something just as it says just to steady my hand on and make it much easier. As far as the uh, torch itself we have the Smith mini torch my kit was the 23-1014 series or model number. Uh, Smith is a, a manufacturer that's made in the USA uh, as far as the torch itself, uh, outside of the basic torch equipment, I have the three inch extension and the number five curved tip on it. I use that where it makes it much easier to get inside the barrel. Let's take a look at the um, setup as far as the tanks and the regulators are concerned. The um, regulators are self uh, adjusting regulators. They uh, are already self pressurized, so therefore they're, they're presets. You don't have to do anything except open them and close them. If you'll notice the tanks, it's just your standard oxygen tank and your propane tank. I picked those up at the local Home Depot store. Uh, it comes with the wire rack. As far as the aluminum pan underneath, that was an item I just picked up at one of the local retail outlets. I think it was at Walmart. I did that to where it would help to hold the barrels uh, much better. So let's start by taking the torch itself <clears throat> and going ahead and producing a flame. First thing you want to do is to take and open up the fuel side where in this case is going to be the propane. We're going to open it just a little bit in order just to get a flame itself. I'm going to turn it down to where it's just coming out of the tip. Now I'm going to slowly introduce the oxygen side of it. Our key here is to be able to get a small hot flame and we want to run that flame to where it's between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch long. That one there is just about perfect. So now we will go ahead and start flame polishing the barrel. One of the things I want to do with the barrel is I'm going to do the outside first and then I'm going to go back and, and flame polish the inside. My lathe is set at 500 RPMs. That's the slowest speed that's available on this particular jet model. So I'll go ahead and turn it on and like I say the first thing I want to do is to set it up here and just flame polish the outside of it. That's all it takes. Now I want to take and do the end just a little bit. Now I'm going to run the inside of it. And that is all it is to it. As you can see, it doesn't take but just a second to go ahead and get it set. One of the things I want to do is to let it spin there for a moment or two to give it an opportunity to cool down before I turn the lathe off. Thank you for watching and be sure and check out our other online uh, video tutorials at www.callmakersnews.com.